A good morning to everyone in the galaxy. I am going to tell a tale of two princesses, long time ago. On the planet Ya and Ra. There was a queen named Vipio. That had given birth to two twin boys. However there was a problem. She knows there could not be two heirs to the throne. And because she was not a very nice queen she made a decision what to do about her twins. She gave the order to one of her maids to take the ugliest of the two brothers away and get rid of him. The evil queen never did told her maid how to get rid of the baby. So she made up her mind to keep the young prince as her own. As for that evil queen there was a coup d'etat. She was banished to a faraway dimension. A decision was made to make her baby the new king. The general who had made the coup would be the caretaker to the very young king. His name was. Siskit. In time the maid was able to tell Siskat about the other prince. The general told her he was too busy to take care of two babies. He told her she could raise the other prince. And because she always wished to have a child of her very own. She did. Many years passed by and the one prince became a mighty king. He had a beautiful daughter named Princess Fix but this story is not about them. You see that other prince had a daughter as well. Her name is Frisia and this is her story. Life was very good for the prince that became the king. He had everything he wanted and more. His very words was the law of the land and all were to bow down to him. Well not every one. There was one the king had to bow to. The general that had taken care of him from birth. He ran the army the police and even had full control of the news. Skskat was the true power behind the throne. He could take whatever he wanted. The king was powerless to stop him. Still he had it a lot better than his brother. The other brother had to work all day in the servant areas. This did feel a wee bit funny to him because he knew that he was a prince. He asks his brother the king if he could live in the nicer part of the castle not the dungeons. However all he got back from his brother was how hard it was for him. He tells him how mean old Skskat takes everything he wants from him. Leaving him with almost nothing at all but says he will try to help him and his daughter more, right away he knew his brother was still not being very fair to him. His daughter was hoping for the same type of nanny bot cousin Vic Scott but this was not to be, his daughter really did not like her robot at all. Ho's name was Box. The prince made up his mind to talk with the maid who had raised him about what should be done, the maid had the best news for the prince and his daughter she had found the lost birth certificate. The wrong prince is on the throne. He is the older one by a few minutes, they go off to make a deal with the king about sharing power with him. Frigia waits behind, but something is not right. Her uncle the king has come down to the dungeons to talk with her. He has never came down here ever before, he tells her how her father and that old maid for unknown reasons had jumped from the very top of the castle. Maybe they thought they could fly he said, do not worry he says box the robot will take good care of you for now. Frigia tells cousin Vix that she thinks that her dad murdered her father. However Vix thinks Frigia had something to do with her father finding out about a friendship she had, her friend was one of the servants who had worked in the castle. Someone had told her dad of their friendship so he had her friend feed it to a very evil witch, Frigia tells Vix that is the stupidest thing she ever has heard. There are no such things as witches and she had nothing to do with her father finding out. She does not believe Frigia and wants to fight her. Frigia runs for it, she hides in the royal courtyard from cousin Vix and there in the courtyard is Box and the king. The king is thanking Box for giving him the info on her father and for finding out about Vix's friendship with the underclass. Box tells him he is just a robot and only does what he was programmed by the king to do. Frigia made up her mind to run away. She was not able to go out the front door or she would have been seen. So she travels to the deepest parts of the castle, deeper and deeper she goes. Hopefully there is a way out of the castle down here. She says to herself, she finds a beautiful crown in the lowest parts of the castle. She picks up the crown and puts it on. 
There is a small piece of paper inside it with the word Vibio on it and a map to a room. A scary ninja jumps out from the shadows and says. You have touched the crown and now you have to die. Phrygia runs from the scary ninja. Phrygia finds the door to that queen's hideout. She yells the word Vibio at the door and it opens up for her. The door closes behind her just in time. She can hear that ninja yell at her from the other side of the door to come out so he could give her a fast death. Phrygia is trapped in this room that once belonged to Vibio. Vibio has to be my grandmother thinks Phrygia. Vix would never have worked that out she is too dumb. She says, Phrygia finds two books in the room. One book is the diary of Vibio and that other book is a children book called The Blue Cats of Ra. It is missing a page in it. She finds Vipio's vengeance lists. Vipio has not added any names on it yet. Phrygia made up her mind to make that her list. Phrygia yells at the ninja on the other side of the door for him to tell her his name. So you want to know the name of the person who is going to be your death well my name is Space Ninja he yells at her from the other side of the door. I just wanted to add your name to the lists of vengeance. Replied Phrygia. Phrygia writes down her first name on that list. There is an old transporter in the room as well. Phrygia tests it on the books and list. Then Phrygia uses the transport herself with no idea where it is going to take her. Goodbye grandmother she says to the picture of Vipio. Phrygia falls for what feels like forever. She lands on a farm. Many miles from the castle, hello there strange girl who just falled out of the sky says the small boy to Phrygia. He says to her my name is Melong and it is very nice to meet you. 